For the last 30 years, the best softball players in America have had one dream in mind. That's a trip to the Women's College World Series. We're just a couple of weeks from making that dream a reality and just a couple of moments away from unveiling the field for this year's NCAA tournament. Move on now to Athens, Georgia. And the dogs get the sixth seed they will be hosting with Georgia State UAB and a Florida State team that probably played its way into the tournament. They were hovering just above 500. They win the ACC uh, tournament and they get the automatic bid and they will have a trip to Athens, Georgia. So the dogs are at home and boy are they barking with an unbelievable senior class. All of the position players in fact are upperclassmen. Well, I really love the one, two, three punch of Taylor Schlopey, Megan Wiggins, and Elisa Goler. Those hitters are so red hot for them. They have been the triangle for so long that has been so associated with Georgia softball, but also the fact that they are seniors. So not that Georgia needs any more fuel in their fire. They're a fiery team already, but to have a senior class that wants to go out on top, that's what Georgia has. And I love the fact that you do have the Goler, Wiggins, and Schlopey, the three of them. They called themselves the triangle, as you mentioned, Jess. I love to give a little bit of love to Brianna Hess and add her to that mix and call them the rectangle. I think that their senior class has been phenomenal. They have a great pitcher now in the circle in Montemayor, Morgan Montemayor. And if Morgan Montemayor can step up and basically throw like an upperclassman, Georgia's going to be tough to beat. They've needed that power pitcher. They got one this year in Morgan Montemayor. So if their seniors can lead, their freshmen can pitch, I think that they're going to they're go a long way in this tournament. They're, they're one of these teams, and there's a few of them in the field where they were playing really well through the first half of the season, and then they kind of uh, sort of lurked around. They lost a couple of games. Maybe they didn't think they should have lost, and now the flipping the switch as they get ready for the postseason. Well, and there were a lot of teams or people that were starting to write off Georgia midway through the season because of that. But Georgia's that team. You throw all the statistics and anywhere their standings in the season because when they get to postseason, that's when they play their best softball consistently. That's how they've always gotten to the World Series.